So you're applauding before you know what it is. <laughs> so what is it? The easiest way to explain that, and actually also to let you in on a little secret, is to tell you that as a recent musician, you've been using rack extensions already for almost six months. Because Alligator, Pulverizer, and the Echo in recent six are rack extensions. Not a full implementation of the technology, but the important parts that let us test this so they were really sure that it would work before we shipped the full implementation. Let's get back to the definition. What is Rack Extensions? Rack Extensions is a technology that allows third parties to create and design, but not only that, but also to distribute and sell devices for the reason rack. We're going to talk about all those points. So maybe you're thinking, what the hell? Come on, propeller plugins have been available for 200 years now. You didn't invent this. And you're absolutely right if you're thinking that. We did not invent that. But we did have a chance to take a step back and look at plugin technology. And when we did that, we saw a lot of things that we really, really liked. But we also saw some stuff that we didn't like. Some stuff that troubled us. Especially when we were observing people using plugin systems and making music. And I want to talk a little bit about those things because those are the things that set rack extensions apart. So one of the things that were pr that are problematic for musicians with plugins is that they're different. So they're different, they can be different in a good way, but they can also be different in a bad way. If all you wanted was to add a simple effect, then you have to start over, relearn new user interfaces, new ways of interacting. And not the cool stuff, but the really simple stuff, like tweaking controls or loading a patch is different again and again and again. We don't think that's right. And the integration into the system, I mean, as a musician, or as a computer user, rather, you've gotten used to all these great things like cut and paste and a really simple thing like undo. Does that work with plugins? It doesn't. And how many of us have more than one computer? Or how many of us are sometimes working at home, thank you, and sometimes working in a studio? And here's a novel concept. How many of us are sometimes working together with other musicians? Right? Two musicians working together. Have you tried that with the plugin system? Have you tried to set up two computers in two different places where you can actually do this really simple task of creating one song on the one computer, then move it over to the other and have it open and sound exactly the same? It's really, really hard. And imagine then that one of those systems is a Mac OS machine and the other is a Windows machine. So we said, we're going to fix all of that. And we have. So they're platform compatible. Totally transparent. And then, of course, we have all the cool stuff that you can do in recent that you can't do in anywhere else, <coughs> like the routing using the combinators. We said, we want them to be part of that, too. So rack extensions are really first-class citizens in the recent rack. They share everything you know and love about using recent devices. So, so far, we've talked about what happens in the actual in recent when you're making music, <clears throat> because that's the most important part of this. But there is another side to um, using instruments and effects in your music making. And that is how you actually get them and how you manage them. And, you know, let's take this simple example that you decided that what you're, what's going to really take your music making to new heights is a new EQ or a new compressor. 
you decided you want something for your music making because it's fun. So you do your research, you look on the internet, you find eight different models that you'd like to try out. And you want to try them out on your music. You just don't want to listen to canned examples on some developer's web page. You want to try them in your music. What do you have to do? You have to go to eight different places. You have to download stuff. You have to find a demo, if there even is a demo. You have to create user accounts. You have to run installers. You have to do authorization stuff. You have to do instantiation, whatever that means. You have to do all this stuff. You know, I mean, just for that example, that can actually take as much as up to a day until you're up to a point where you can actually run your vocals through the, the eight things and see which one you like the best. And that's a day lost making that you could be spending making music instead. So we added another component to this, <coughs> which is the store, where you get your rack extensions. So it's one store that Propeller are hosting. And before you stare too long at this, yes, this is a complete mock-up. <laughs> but the idea is here. So what do you have to do to try out one new instrument or effect in this system? You have to click exactly one button, the try button. What happens, stuff gets downloaded to your computer, installed automatically, next time you run reset, it's there. One click. And not only that, this store will also host all the rack extensions that you want to try out. So it's really easy to search and compare and try things out. And there will be demo versions of everything. So we think that's going to make a big, big difference. But it doesn't end there either. Because there's not only there's a life after your demo, there's a life after your purchasing. And we talked about that a little bit. We talked about the situation where you're going to the studio or the situation where you're actually going to get a new computer, or you decided to switch from Mac OS to Windows, or vice versa. We're agnostic. Um, and then you're going to be there, and you're going to need, it's your stuff. So what we're doing is we're hosting all the rack extensions. So when you need them on another system than you are right now, it's a couple of mouse clicks, and it all gets installed automatically. That's all you need to do. And we guarantee that we'll host all your purchases forever. And we'll make them compatible with your stuff forever. So we think that's a, that's a big difference. Last thing I want to say about this is um, what is the most evil thing that can happen when you're making music with computers? What's the thing that disturbs your creativity the most? Crashing. Crashing. Computers crash. You know, hard disks fail. Stuff happens. If you're a recent user, if you talk to a recent musician, you will hear that our stuff just works. You know, we're really sticklers, both for stability and performance. But this time, we went totally to the extreme. So we made it so that it's really, really hard to write a rack extension that crashes. It's really hard. You can do it, but it's hard. But if you do, and if it does, then Reason's still going to be running. It cannot take down your hosts. It's just going to go silent and then ask you to save and restart. So your most important thing is this, that your document is safe, your song is safe, always. So speaking of that, I want to get into the um, <coughs> area of development, because we're talking about technical stuff. And um, you've seen some stuff already. There are a lot more companies right now working on making rack extensions for this platform. Not all of them <laughs> want to talk about it. You know, they want to stay secret until they finish their work. We can appreciate that. We've been there too. Uh, but we're really grateful that some companies in addition to the ones you've seen here today, have uh, decided to share with us that they're working with us, and you know what they're doing. They have enough faith in us to work on their products while we put the final touches to the technology itself, which we is, is astounding, and we're really grateful for that. 
but we want more. <laughs> Just like you want musicians want more, we want more too. So I'd like to take this opportunity to invite everyone out there who's already a plugin developer, who is thinking about becoming one. If you have a design that you'd like to see for the Rack Extension platform, please contact us. There will be contact information on the web page when this video is posted. And uh, we want to do our best to support you in being successful on this platform. So go for it. The floodgates just open now. <laughs>